13 months. Systems fall. Systems you leave. A baby. Twenty-one months, that means my sub can go to bars in the USA, I think. Holy shit. Sixteen. So spins you live, so spins you dead, so spins you live, so spins you dead, so spins babe and so spins babe and so spins babe and so spins sad, so spins sad, so spins sad, so spins sad. Sospin smile. Red Frog Associates so Bebo. Twenty Moth, what the hell? Excited to chill smile. I'm going to go have a late night banana smile.
anyone like some soup? Soup anyone? baby of months. Half a year, Baben. Nice try. There are no glass balls in the room. I made sure to I made sure to get them out of the room because it's late. I can't be making noise at night this late. Oh, as I get in trouble. There's no glass balls. Eventually it'll fall. Eventually it'll fall. But not now. Channel 17 months. 17 months. Thank you for the hype train. Thank you for the subs. It's been a while since we had a late night chill. It's been a long time. I don't remember a lot. It's over a year at this point, I think. We've streamed late, but... We've streamed late, but... A legitimate late night chill. 
this screen this is this is what this is the first stream asset i ever made but i never i don't i don't think i ever used it i think i used it i think i used it once did i use this on stream maybe i'm forgetting i remember i made this because i was like in 2018 i mean it's in 2018 and i was like oh my god i i'm gonna stream late at night i'm gonna stream midnight club 2 for gamecube and sphinx at the cursed mummy to like three people this is an ancient screen this is very old this is four years old at this point almost and now i'm, I'm literally doing that it's always it's og xbox who the fuck is gonna watch og xbox but i got over the course of the past year i got so many random xbox games at thrift stores and you can't emulate xbox so i was like hey you know what i'll check these out we're just chilling tonight it's gonna be a relatively relatively short stream it's gonna be a relatively short stream we're just gonna be chilling. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have some cereal. I'm gonna be checking out a few games. I got a I got a few games lined up. Hold on. Let me get let me get more of these. I got a bunch of games over here. Hold on, I'll show them. I got a I got a bunch of Xbox games. all have they all have the price tag on them three dollars each some of them are four dollars let me turn the music down a little bit priceless so these are a bunch of, i don't know why i bought these games i don't know why i bought oh let me myself up you can't even see like half of the screen no. so it's also really dark in here i mean the camera is really dark for some reason um on, let me mute this God, that should be better it is late night so i guess it makes sense that it's dark um i have a lot of i have a lot of 007 games for some reason I have Goldeneye Rogue Agent. It says here, uh, it's 007 Presents. With a cool holographic sticker to tell you that it's legit. It's a legitimate 007 product. I have that Rogue Agent. I have Mission Impossible Operation Surma. These are not bootleg, these are real. They're legitimate. Got the disc and everything. Another 007 game from Russia with love. Uh, 
Oh, what's this? Oh, it's just the manual. Oh, it doesn't close with the... That's so weird. Whatever. I have a... I don't know. This one was a dollar. Trans World Surf. It's just the surf game. Taking place in Trans World. Um, it's got killer waves. It's got insane tricks. It's got ultimate surf action. It's got authentic look and feel. There's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, there's also exist trans world snowboarding. I wonder if that ever came out. I feel like Atari probably went under before that came out. Sean. There's surfer bios. Anyways, I bought this because it never heard of this or I don't know who would play a surf game on Xbox. I have 007 Nightfire. This one's a platinum hit. Apparently this one's kind of decent. Do you have what it takes to be Bond? This is an EA game. Is that Vince McMahon? That's Vin that sure is Vince McMahon. He does look like Vince McMahon a little bit here. They kind of all new storyline featuring Piers Brosnan as James Bond. And it comes with the world's first, the world's first wavy manual. I don't know why this is so busted up. It looks like bacon. What happened? I don't know how, what, what this person did to their manual, but damn. And the other one's totally fine. But for some reason, there's a bigger, like, bacon one on top of it. Look, you can experience James Bond on special edition DVD. Wait, let me just make this bigger, because we're not even, like, playing the game yet. Okay. You get, this, this is the cereal I'm going to eat. You get to see Timbits. I'm having because we don't have uh, we don't have uh, Cocoa Pebbles here. They're called Timbit cereal. That's 007 Nightfire. Apparently that one's good. Maybe I'll start with that one. I'm not eating dog food. <laughs> it kind of looks like dog food though. Still shitting. Still shitting. Still shitting. Does the Arabic under late night chill translate to Adam's blood worm is very bad? I made that graphic four years ago. I have no idea what it translates to. I that might still have the Photoshop file somewhere, so I'll let you know. Um and I have X-Men Legends. Get that glare off of there. This this was apparently at one time five fifty five and also eighty seven cents Lord. per day at Game Zone. Thank you, Deep Fried Gundam, for the ten gifted suits. But Game Zone Game Zone said for seven days you could get this for five fifty five, and also as eighty cents eighty seven cents per day. Pajul, this is French, I guess. I mean, not I guess that's very much French. But at Game Zone, you could rent this for 87 cents a day, plus taxes. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's a receipt here. Game Zone DVD. Oh God, someone bought this for $30. Damn. Feel bad for you. <laughs> I bought it for like $3. Look, thirty-one ninety-four. You hate to see it. Someone blew their money on this shit. Is it good? Does 
It's like, it's a, it's just like a, it says Activision there. I don't know who made it though. What, like... Oh, this is my Vicarious Visions? That's interesting. But yeah. It's got these cool little stickers on it. Other, I think other ones had stickers on them, did they? No, they didn't. Except for the 007 Hollow one. That one's cool. Look at that. That's slick. I don't know why games did that. Were they that concerned with, like... Were they that concerned with, like, bootlegs? All the wrestling games also had those stickers on them for some reason. It's just cool. I guess so. I don't know how much it costs to make a holographic sticker. I want to make one. Those are always cool. Sure. Alright, I'm going to make a bowl of cereal and then... And then we could start playing Xbox. I'll start with I'll start with the shiny sticker one. I think I'll start with Goldeneye Rogue this Agent. Sick. This is sick. Thank you, Combo's Killer. Rogue Agent kind of looks like the worst one though. Goldeneye.ea.com. Right, I'm gonna get a bowl. Time to smoke a bowl of cereal. Smile, 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 smile. That's not what I meant when I said. Milk, milk makes your family happy. Hey, I've got a message for you. Don't fuck with me, I'll kill oh you. Oh god. Turn my swag on. I'm going get out of bed. Turn my swag on. Take a look at the mirror. 1%, yes. 1%. It's 1% milk. I still have not weaned myself off of dairy milk. I started. I start. I tried. There's some oat milks that I like, but I like oat milk. I like oat milk with just oats. But I don't really like it with cereal. I feel like the aftertaste kind of fucks the taste of the cereal up. Makes it taste like Diet Pepsi. Man, like the, the how dark the camera's real dark. It makes it look like I have no chin and my beard is huge. It's not that big. Um Smells salty. That's how you know it's good. I forgot a spoon. Shit. I forget how I found this. I was still shitting. I um. I forgot how I found this. I think I was looking up Texas Chainsaw Massacre videos. I found this channel. Wow. <laughs> me me turning minimizing. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why? This camera is so sensitive. I'm just I'm swapping VLC from like monitor to monitor, and it's like it completely changes the lighting. Like, look, you can't even see my face. It's not that dark here. Okay. Um. I was looking up. I was looking up videos of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I forget why. And I found this channel called Media Breakdown that has a video. We found, me and Wayne found this at like 3 a.m. last night. There's a channel called Media Breakdown and they have a video called the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Ending Explained. And no. it's, it has 53,000 views. Um, and I started listening to it. First of all, if you've seen the movie, you, there's not much to be explained. It's quite cut and dry. Um, but I started listening to it and something seemed off. Something seemed off. You just finished viewing the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre film on Netflix. And if you were clever, you stuck- Do you notice anything weird right off the bat? Let's see how many people can spot what's weird about this. It's computer generated speech. I'll let you figure it out once you hear the words that come out of this man's mouth. But looking through the comments, it took a long time for me to scroll and find a, a, a comment that was addressing how the voice sounds. But just listen, listen to the words chosen. Stuck around until the end to see the Texas Chainsaw Massacre after credit sequence. Now your mind is racing, and you're asking yourself, what does it all mean? What does it all mean? Says the narrator, of all. For the majority of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre's 83 minute runtime, it's not that deep. Leatherface wields a massive chainsaw and murders people with it. You don't even need to have seen the other seven films in the genre because the 2022 Texas Chainsaw Massacre is regarded a direct sequel to the 1974 film The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. For the sake of this new film, they are not considered canon. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre end credits scene, on the other hand, may catch you off guard. All right, it's, it's great. Yes, I'm pretty sure it's TTS. Fairly sure it's TTS. That's, uh, but there's no proof. I've not been able to find anything on the channel that like says that it's like a robot. But um, I can't show you the video obviously because it's just footage from the movie. I feel like I'd get in trouble for that. But let's listen to a bit more. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre ending explained. It's a five minute long video. And I'm pretty sure all it does is it sums up the movie itself. Or maybe you just want to know who survives by skipping ahead. Whatever your motivation, here's all you need to know about the movie's post credit scene. Melody is a young San Francisco entrepreneur with a plan to convert a near ghost town in rural Texas into a wealthy elitist tourism and real estate destination. Leela, her younger sister, is dragged along with her to a meeting with possible investors in town. Melody is hoping that Leela would join her in Texas so that they can be together after a tragic tragedy at her school. A when tragic Melody, tragedy! Leela, and their pals arrive in Harlow, Texas. They find something in the town that their investors don't want them to see a confederate flag. They attempt to get rid of it. They presume the house flying it is abandoned, so when an elderly woman asks what they are doing in her home, they are taken aback. The elderly lady offers delicious tea to her unexpected visitors. She claims the house is an <laughs> The elderly lady offers delicious tea. <laughs> ancient orphanage she used to run for over 50 years. The old lady becomes distraught when Melody hesitantly informs her that the house has been seized by the bank and that she must go. A frightening person arrives in the stairway while the old lady is frightened. His face is hidden from view. The elderly lady instructs the man to return to his room since she is alright. She informs Melody, he's the last of my guys. He need particular attention. He's the last of I my can't guys. be here since he doesn't do well outside. When the cops arrive to evict the elderly woman, she falls in terror. The same hulking figure from earlier grabs her and transports her to the hospital in a police car. Jessica Allen, who plays Melody's friend, volunteers to accompany them to the hospital so that she may inform Melody that the woman is well. Leela gets a horrifying glimpse of the towering figure's face and shadow as they drive away and all she sees is an eye. That menacing figure, as you may have surmised, is none other than Leatherface. Akka the chainsaw wielding killer initially depicted Akka. by Gunnar Hansen. The amount of times this voice says Akka instead of AKA. Akka. 
Aka the chainsaw wielding killer initially depicted by Gunnar Hansen in the 1974 Gunnar Texas Hansen. Chainsaw Massacre film. Leatherface embarks on a violent spree after the orphanage mother dies on the route to the hospital, murdering everyone in the vehicle with his chainsaw. The rest also, of the film if, follows Leatherface. First of all, straight up not true what he just said. Um, also, if you listen, you hear a voice in the background. Um, what me and Wayne think is that we're pretty sure that this bot or whatever the fuck, I stole an actual video and just put a TTS on top of it, but didn't mute the whole video. You'll hear someone talking underneath. Face as he tries to find Melody, whom he plainly blames for his surrogate mother figure's death, Sally Hardesty, the sole survivor of Leatherface's homicidal spree 50 years ago, receives word that Leatherface has returned. She you brings weapons to Harlow in the hopes of finally defeating him. With his chainsaw, Leatherface hacks up a number of people, and eventually just Melody and Leela are left of their pals. Sally it's arrives with her vehicle at precisely the appropriate time, but instead of driving away, the she insists that the way, they obviously. wait until Sally can murder Leatherface. Leatherface, however, has the upper hand and leaves Sally practically dead in the street. Melody and Leela are being pursued by Leatherface. They make an attempt to hit him with the van, but it crashes. Melody, who is stuck in the van, encourages Leela to go and leave her behind. Leela agrees, but later returns to try to shoot Leatherface. She's out of bullets, but thankfully, Sally comes and shoots Leatherface in the shoulder with the last of her power. Explained ending. Power. A dying person Sally warns Leela not to flee. If you flee, he'll never stop haunting you. But instead of assisting her sister in fleeing, Leela pursues Leatherface inside the abandoned theater, armed with a rifle. There's a pool of water in this auditorium for some reason, and Leatherface assaults Leela and nearly drowns her. Leela eventually drags herself out of the water, but Leatherface has the upper hand. Melody, her sister, appears Melody. out of nowhere and leaps on him just as he's about to slice her up with his chainsaw. With her last round, Leela hits Leatherface in the stomach. Melody then takes up the chainsaw and slices him through the middle, albeit a shallow one. Leatherface is knocked unconscious and falls into the sea. We notice bubbles at first, indicating that he falls is still breathing. Falls into the breathing. sea! Yeah, that Leela was one of the best parts. In the he falls into the sea. Melody then takes up- If you've seen the movie, he falls into like a hole in the building with a bit of water. The chainsaw <laughs> and slices him <laughs> through the middle, into the sea. albeit a shallow one. Leatherface is knocked unconscious and falls into the sea. We notice bubbles <laughs> at first, indicating that he is still breathing. But the bubbles gradually stop, indicating that he is dead. Is Leatherface finally extinguished for good? Nope. Leela and Mel get into their expensive nope. automobile and put on autopilot mode in the film's last scene. Leatherface emerges out of nowhere and snatches Mel through the passenger window as the car begins to move away. While Leela cries from the car that is still going away on autopilot, he beheads her in the street with his chainsaw. After the credit scenes, is there this, a Texas chainsaw this, this, massacre? This is the best so part. This is move. the best part of the whole video right now. He spends four minutes explaining the movie with a minute left in the video and a video called Texas Chainsaw Massacre Ending Explained. Listen. Cries from the car that is still going away on autopilot. He beheads her in the street with his chainsaw. After the credit scenes, is there a Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Yes. You may see Leatherface walking down a dusty road with his chainsaw approaching a lovely little home with a windmill if you wait until the very end of the credits. Explaining the Texas Chainsaw Massacre post credit scene. Leatherface <laughs> is on his way to a residence that would be familiar to loyal Texas Chainsaw fans. It's Leatherface's house, back of the early 1,900 seconds farmhouse where the first the Texas Chainsaw- The early 1,900 seconds <laughs> farmhouse. Massacre film. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre was shot. Leatherface. Right now it's showing a picture of Chop Top, which is absolutely the wrong picture. His brother and their grandfather resided at the house in the original film. In the first film, Leatherface's brother is said to have been slain, while he and other members of Leatherface's family did appear in subsequent films. It's crucial to understand that the 2022 Texas Chainsaw Massacre was meant as a direct sequel to the 1974 picture, and the creators do not consider the previous films to be canon. Even then, you know how slashers go, no one ever actually dies. Is this a hint that more Texas Chainsaw flicks are on the way? Flicks. As well as a reunion between Leatherface and his brother. To discover out, we'll have to wait and watch. Thanks for watching. Thousand I saw. love, I so love what? this sentence. We notice bubbles at first. And this sentence, uh, Leatherface uh, snatches Mel from right the here. car that is his chainsaw. After the credit scene. After the credit scene, is there a Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Yes. What does that sentence mean? What does that mean at all? That means no scenes. Is there a Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Yes. You may see Leatherface walking down a dusty road with And there's this channel has not one, but two. Two of the exact same concept, but with a completely different script. So they have another Texas Chainsaw Massacre video. It's also an ending explained, but 
every month except this video for some reason is the entire hinge and the entire concept is they are explaining the movie but from the perspective of someone who feels bad for Leatherface. Listen. Every monster, whether in nature or legend, has a backstory. These tales include vital lessons for humans about why they should not tamper with nature's secrets or things they don't fully comprehend. Humans, on the other hand, excavate nature's secret out of curiosity, ignorance, or greed, arousing sleeping spirits or monsters and sparking events that culminate in a massacre. The reappearance of Leatherface is likewise the product of human avarice and their stupid <laughs> interference. The reappearance of Leatherface is likewise the product of human avarice. In the 2022 film Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which causes a sleeping monster to emerge from the shadows and get retribution for everything he has lost. Dante, Ruth, Melody, and Leela, four townies, arrive in Harlow to help an elderly lady. Mrs. MC, leave her home. Mrs. Mick is informed by Dante that her property has been confiscated by the bank because she has failed to pay her debts. And despite the old lady's protests that she has paid every cent, the town's sheriff pulls her out of the home, and the old woman suffers a stroke. It is at this point that we first see Leatherface, Mrs. McKay's final son. After the 1973 massacre outside Austin, Leatherface is thought to have been a stray monster who was sheltered and adored by an elderly woman named Mrs. MC, who kept the huge man hidden in her orphanage the until the current man. day. Leatherface's mother, the lady, filled the gap left by the trauma the he lady. had been carrying for a long time. Maybe, Mrs. Mc operated as an unseen link between Leatherface and human civilization calming the monster inside him and assisting him in suppressing his psychopathic inclinations, which is likely why Mrs. Mick was able to steal Leatherface's chainsaw and hide it behind the walls of her chamber. We all need a sense of belonging and a home, whether we are humans, monsters, or other creatures. Without it, we frequently lose our path and wind up performing the most heinous actions or becoming our history, which we all wish to forget. Mrs. MC's death shattered the cocoon that <laughs> contained the that monster passage? Leatherface, and shortly after, Leatherface reverts to his former self, murdering everyone in his path to revenge his so-called mother's death. Mrs. Mick was assassinated not just by the police officers or the child, Ruth, but by the entire community, which disrupted her quiet existence. As a result, Leatherface reappears. He returns wearing the skin of his mother's face as a sign of justice for the frail elderly woman who was ejected from her home by a gang of strangers. Ejected. When Leatherface returns to the orphanage, he murders an unknown guy in the home because he doesn't belong there. And after the slaughter, see, he rushes see, into- See, that sentence, he, murder, he murders an unknown guy in the home because he doesn't belong there. That character has a name, is in like a good 20 minutes of the movie. There's a, there's a whole reason why that character goes in the house. That, I'm not joking when I say that. It's written legitimately, like as if Leatherface wrote this. I killed an unknown guy because he wasn't supposed to be in the house. ...to his mother's chamber and breaches the wall to get his final weapon of vengeance. The chainsaw that completes the demon's costume, Leatherface is able to wreak retribution on all the wrongdoers and innocents that cross his road of vengeance after much bloodshed and gruesome executions. But a girl called Leela manages to flee. Perhaps Leela is not the direct offender in Leatherface's views because she is only a guest who arrived with her sister, Melody, who happens to be the major menace in the monster's eyes. You could hear the robotic and he lets Leela the escape. Leatherface returns to the windmill home a few miles outside Austin, Texas where the 1974 movie and the initial slaughter took place in the post credit sequence of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This one, Even this if society regards Leatherface as a monster, the act of returning to the roots implies that the individual in question wishes to sleep comfortably under a roof where no one disturbs his everlasting slumber. The monster is unlikely to return unless driven by an external source to take up his chainsaw and unleash his vengeance on them because they invited their own death by trespassing into the lion's den. <laughs> Oh my god. Finding this at 3 a.m. was the most mind breaking thing. Who wrote who wrote this? I mean we know who. Driven by an external source to take up his chainsaw and unleash his vengeance on them because they invited their own death by trespassing into the lion's den. But trespassing. even if he does, I hope he receives the closure he deserves. Whether <laughs> what? Uh, even if Leatherface kills anyone that comes into his home, I really hope that he gets the closure that he deserves. <laughs> By death or some other way. Thanks for watching. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe and click. Awesome. So that, I just wanted to show you what, what we found last night. That was amazing. That was unlike anything I've seen in a long time. Holy shit. The channel is called Media Breakdown.
Let me make myself small so we can play some Xbox games. Also, this is creepy as shit. When I was a kid and I left my Xbox on, listen to the weird voice that is in the background of the Xbox menu. It's not music that I'm playing. That's just in the menu. Anyways, that's fucking. I remember seeing that as a kid and being like, what the hell? I scared the shit out of me. It's 2 a.m. and you leave your Xbox on because I don't know, you're getting ready for bed or something. And, damn. I was a serial. Someone said it was good. This is. A, I love. Cocoa Pebbles, I love Fruity Pebbles. We don't have those in, in Canada. It's as close as we're gonna get to Cocoa Pebbles. So far, there's no alternative for Fruity Pebbles, sadly. But this tastes, as far as I know, this tastes kind of similar to Cocoa Pebbles in bits. Oops, I'm so used to my camera being there. All right, let's pop in a game. I need my, I need my I have to put a I have to put a needle in the hole for the Xbox because the disc tray does not open. All right. You're welcome. Good. Good, good, uh, good placement of the text there. Oh, I wonder if this will have, uh, movie scenes in it. Probably don't want that. EA Games. Challenge everything. This is 2004. My THX head. What's an extras? Fort Knox. Let's go to easy. We're trying to chill. 
one life mode. I'd like to meet the person who beat this in one life mode. Three years ago, I have 007 Nightfire. Found. The agent was severely wounded in an encounter with Dr. No. Damn, this sounds like a hitman. Use of his right eye. Consumed with vengeance, he frequently resorts to violence and brutality and is no longer fit for service with MI6. I'm gonna, so we could see the whole game. Hold on a second. A member of the most powerful criminal organization in the world has seized I'm already US kind of bored of this game. <laughs> I didn't think it would be this intense of like a the agent game. As his crimes threatened the security I'll wait until the gameplay. You and That's true, skip this. Oh god, I forgot I'm on an Xbox controller. Do I press do I press black or white? Then locate and defuse the bomb. Oh. Good luck, gentlemen. Oh, there is a start. Oh, it's over. Oh dear lord, this is awful. Press A for normal up down aim. I feel like I'm moving in molasses. Press A for precision controls. Press B for classic controls. Left thumbstick move turn. Auto aim enabled. Should we do that? Let's do that. Let's do move turn left thumbstick. We're just gonna fuck this up. Oh my god, this is so... Tank controls for an FPS? This is so fucked. I can't, I need to at least give myself a bit of a chance. Are you? Are you Agent 007? Where'd I go? Where do I go? Game over. I'm over here. Okay. I am oh. Is that my fault? I got one up on a landing. Get it. Oh my god, reload is why. This is so hard. This is so hard. Oh, you he bled green blue goo. Oh, it's got the halo health bars. Can I aim down set? Did I just throw? How do I kill you? Oop. Kill him. Oh my god, the aim, please. 
thing is, they had the means, they had the controller to be able to do that. They just didn't figure out how shooting works in games at this point, I don't think. Is there no crouch? There is. It's B. That's one thing that stayed the same. B is usually crouch and like Call of Duty and shit. I'm just gonna do a melee run. If I can catch up to you. Ow. Damn, I'm getting headshots. I'm doing good. Did I die? Yeah, I guess I died. Get him! I'm over here! I I got steady. <laughs> he dead, right? <laughs> he dead, right? Uh I'm about to swap this game out. This is the type of game that I would have gotten, that I would have rented as a kid, and I legitimately would have played it for five minutes and been like, I'm just gonna do literally anything else. Oh, oh my god, melee is, melee is black. I need to, I need to like an extra light, hold on. At least I could show the camera some stuff. Um, well, you can't see the controller, but melee is the is the white button on the controller. I'm far away from every other button. You can't. I I am the number one. I'm the number one Golden Eye Rogue Agent headshotter. Alright, I'm turning this game off. That was a, that game was just depressing. It ran at like 20 FPS. The controls really sucked ass. Let's play Transworld Surf. I feel like I need a bit more levity. A bit more color after that. Some daylight maybe. Why is it suddenly like the camera is like super dark? It's, Right. Oh yeah, this game probably has a copyright soundtrack. Might have to change. Might have to change the... Yep, definitely have to mute the soundtrack. Uh, Alright, you know what?
Oh, because I think Transworld is a magazine. That's why there's like actual songs on this. <laughs> Put this music on. Shane Dorian. Ashboro. What's this? Dan Malo Malloy? Malloy? Dan Malloy? Wow! Wow! <gasps> Is that the reaction they wanted? <gasps> Sean Barney Braun. But why was Barney in that font? Ooh, I'm loving how that text moves in the background. When was this made? This is like very like 90s editing. 2001, okay. The intro is real long. Yeah, I probably can't play any of the music. Let's start on Xbox. Huh? Are there no... Audio options? Oh, what? Why? Okay, let's turn down music. Oh, Jesus Christ. Watched commercials? What? What? Yo, that's a sick model though. I like that camera model. Who wants to watch the Oakley commercial? I'm good. Uh, who wants to watch Planet uh, uh, Rusty? Awesome. Uh, anyone up for uh, Billabong? DC shoes is a mainstay. I don't recognize a lot of these other ones. Santa Cruz boards. What? 
What? Okay. <laughs> That's a great commercial, dude. Sick. Von Zipper, what the fuck? Back in the 1942 Olympics, Hitler denied me my medal for my what the fuck? But I'll show you I can still do it. Is this a person, Von Zipper? Oh, you're real close. What the fuck is that? <laughs> okay. Hell yeah, Von Zipper, I guess. Just the old man jumping in the water, getting real close to the camera. Ah, Lost, my favorite. Who's your favorite Lost rider? I hate Lost. Level, what's, what's teasers? Poetic silence. This is, these are videos that probably are nowhere to be found. I wonder if these are on YouTube. <laughs> what is the rising? editing so much. This is sick. Bruce. Danny. These are the four survivors. Ben. Bobby. Jason. Yeah, I hear vocals and I get scared. Coming soon. All right. Let's actually play some of the game. Pick your pro and take them to where they belong at the top. Let's do free surf for a little bit. Relax, take your time, and enjoy the sets of waves rolling in. That's for that's good for a late night chill. Sunrise. Timmy Kern. Corey. Timmy Kearns from Oxnard, California, and this man has made a name by busting moves that nobody else can stick. Hell yeah, dude. Corey Lopez, one who can charge and bust big. He can bust big. Chris Ward from San Clemente, California, is one of the most progressive surfers ever to hit the water. One of the three Amigo brothers of the Malloy family, Dan Malloy from Ventura, California. North County boy, Taylor Knox. Oh, nothing to say about Taylor. Fred Potassia Jr. from Haleiwa, Hawaii. A tremendous heat surfer, aerial surfer, and tube rider, Taj Burrow from the west coast of Australia rules. From Kauai, Andy Irons. Andy not getting much else. Sisters be going big, and none go bigger than Rochelle Ballard. <laughs> Dr. Smooth himself, Shane Dorian from the Big Island of Hawaii, will pull in. Sisters be ramp, going big. NorCal represented here, Sean Barney Barron. Rat a tat tat, rat a tat tat tat. It's Rap Boy from Santa Cruz, California. Wow, not even going to say this person's a real name. From San Clemente, California, let's hear it for Christian Fletcher! Woo! Woo! Timmy Kerr. 
All right. I gotta go with Rap Boy. Perhaps one of the most. Woo! Let's get out there. Nope. Perhaps one of the most. They all have different things when you choose them. Yeah, you ready? Let's go. We're on it. <laughs> Timmy, let's do this. Come on, let's go surf. <laughs> these are these are strangely intimate without music. Let's do this. We're out there. It looks sick. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Whoa, Taylor's got some attitude. No wonder the no wonder the the announcer didn't say shit about Taylor. Come on, let's go surf. Come on, let's go surf. Come on, let's go surf. Let's get out there. It's going off. You got it. You got it. That one's That's the. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. All right, let's go nail something crazy. Hey. <laughs> surfer, aerial surfer, That's right. Rider. I did Unbroke. not expect it to West launch into the two fucking lick. <laughs> from the West Coast of yeah, let's get out of there. <laughs> Oh, it's the same song. What? Let's hit the waves. What? Let's hit the waves. I'm your girl. Let's get some deep pits. This is. Wait. Sisters be going. No, he said something different. Sisters be going. I'm your girl. Let's get some deep pits. Sisters be going big. He said like this is, and then I cut him off by accident. What's up? Let's go rip. This sister ain't scared. It's Rochelle Ballard. There's there's a strange Let's get out there. There's a strange strangely wide variety of voice lines here. From the All right, let's go. Wax it up and get wet. Thanks. <laughs> Just cuz you're playing Barney, don't play like one. <laughs> what? What? Just cause you're playing Barney, don't play like one. Just cause you're playing Barney, don't This play person like only has one, one voice line. Let's go do this. Oh, never mind. Wait, what's that video? <laughs> that like two second it's rap boy from Santa Cruz the fade of two seconds of this guy just like looking really awkward in the video is fantastic what was that <laughs> let's go let's go rap boy This, yeah, this signature rap boy pose. <laughs> oh, I think it's the only video with like a weird two second shot of like the surfer in like civilian clothing looking super awkward. <laughs> let's do this. Come on, let's go surf. No, no thanks, Tim. Known for his aerial antic. Oh, let's do something, you ready? <laughs> Yeah, you ready? Let's go. We're on it. Oh, let's do something, you ready? Yeah, you ready? Let's go. We're out there. Yeah, yeah, let's just... Let's just do something, you ready? Yeah, who's ready? Let's just go do something, yeah? Who's ready to serve? Let's just go ahead. I don't know. We're going to serve, go yeah? I don't know. We're going to serve, yeah? Well, hey, road trip, road trip. I like in Barney. Just because you're playing Barney, don't play like one. See, words of wisdom. You can't deny the the intellectual prowess there. I thought I muted the music. The 
secure a point dom patrol the surf is small waist to head high surf conditions well it's clean with a few sections that's because the tide's low but the good news is the water's warm yo let's do something right I'm surfing! I'm surfing! This is so... This is awesomely strange without music. Let's go. Ride the wave, bro. I'll do a cool trick. Yeah. Yeah. Air. Yeah. Is the point of this? Hop on. on. Oh God, the wave, the wave mesh. Fantastic looking. so far oh i'm gonna crash i think oh looking good looking good rap boy i need some i need some music hold on i need some music free to sing the lyrics in the chat I can't use the vocal version yeah do something someone yelled at me how do I do cool tricks oh whoa <gasps> Always your child. All right, I feel like I don't. I'm gonna exit now because I get a feel for this. I'm gonna go and see what the single player is like. Where are you? Cause I'm so sorry. I cannot sleep. I cannot drink tonight. Don't know the rest of the lyrics. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, okay, I'll keep dude poo. thousand points scare five birds from the wave Fuck out of my way, dude. Yo, I got that was like an that was an assassination. I did that on purpose. I wonder if there have been any surfing games since this one. As far as I know, this is like one of the only surfing games I know about. I tried. Attention Best Buy shoppers, you need to wake up. You've been asleep in the appliance department for the last two years. Wake Can't let auto play up. play. Like. Listen to that one again. Gunning, I'm gunning it for that AI. Hey, dude. How you doing? <laughs> I'm being yelled at. He's telling me to beat it. Gaia's for the one month for the new tier one sub. Hey, beat it, beat it. Take that back to the boneyard. Locals only. Beat it. friends Sick. 
sick. I want a new cheat code. Oh, but I have to I have to keep playing. Well, I don't want to do that. I'm going to switch games now. That was Trans World Surf. That was okay. Kind of hard. Well, granted, I didn't really give it uh, a, fair sh a fair shake. But I'm playing this like I would have played these games if I'd rented them like 10 years ago. If the game doesn't hook me in the first like 10, 20 minutes, then I'm moving on from that rental. I'm waiting for that next rental. So GoldenEye Rogue, Rogue Agent was kind of bust. I've got I've got Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible X-Men Legends 007 Nightfire and from Russia with Love. I think this has Sean Connery as James Bond. Let's look at let's look at X-Men Legends. The game someone dropped thirty dollars on. God knows how long ago. The game that's worth eighty-seven cents a day. Let's check it out. I've got a whole bunch. I've got a whole bunch of other Xbox games. These are this is like the first round of games that I wanted to check out. I've I have other games that I've wanted to check out, but those are like more likely to be interesting or intense. Whereas for late night chill, I just want to look at games I would not have looked at otherwise. What the fuck? Ooh, I'm scared already. Oh, hey, Raven Software. What have they made? I definitely recognize that logo. Can look at the load screens. Ooh, they got comic books. Ooh, I love that model. That's a nice model. I've also got Spider Man 2 on Xbox. Maybe I'll play that. I'm not really, I don't know about the, the James Bonds. Danger Room. What is that? I can't select it. Who knows what does anyone know what danger room is? Today on RVN World News, we examine the growing mutant. Why is it so blown out? Of worldwide Stop yelling. This scene took place in Russia two weeks ago as a young mutant stood in defiance of the military. And in the Far East, the authorities attempted to quell an uprising at a mutant camp, but they had little success. We interrupt this newscast with a breaking story. A young woman named Allison Kressmere was identified as a mutant. 
The genetic research and security organization is now responding to that report. The bomb is formed and tempers are flaring. <laughs> that was a great sentence. Just saying straight up, or just a person was identified as a mutant. I just got done watching the 2018 Suspiria remake. You ever seen it? And if so, how scarred are you? I haven't seen it. I've I've seen I saw the 70s Suspiria film. It was very confusing. Is it normal for the audio to sound like this? Do that too. Wait, I've not seen the twenty. I, I saw the. Yo, Wolverine looking great, dude. New York, New York, New York. Fun fact: They're called the X Men because all these men are my exes, and the women. I don't discriminate. Do you live in Texas? Game tip. I got seven XP. I jump? Oh, I can. Wolverine looking a bit weird in the corner there, not gonna lie. Bit of a Dollarama Wolverine. Whoa, where did he go? Oh, the picture changes. Why does it keep rotating his head? Why is it doing that? Kind of getting the the hint for this game. I I think I get it. Many objects in the X Men universe can be picked up and thrown. Sweet dreams, sucker. I like the I like the sound it makes when you press the game tip button. Nice. Oh god. Troy, what's up? Playing X-Man Legends for Xbox. Wolverine does need hope. Help? <laughs> Health, too. Oh, looking great. Am I playing too rough for you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, there's a special move. Is that the Joker? Or it could be real. I leveled up. Can I just pacifist run? Just keep going. AAA is a basic three hit. A B B A A A. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay. I'm getting this game now. I'm just wasting them. Where do I go? I wonder why they made it in this perspective. Mystique. Keep close. Hey, Wolverine. The, 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 the dialogue is incredibly blown out. I'm not sure why. What are you waiting for? Come on. What? What's going on here? You're finished, Mystique. Oops. Give up. Fool. You think I came here alone? I will annihilate you! Jesus Christ. Oh, oh yes, yeah, this. Are destined to lose X -Men. Some water sounds. Am I using component cables? No, I'm using composite cables. It's literally the lowest qual it's a composite cables run through a VCR. I will annihilate you! One of the mighty X-Men. Who the fuck? <laughs> yes, I can technically rewind if I. I don't have a cassette in there. What are we waiting for? Let's go. I'm the fuck down, bro. Get over 
here, or I'm done. You are destined to be the Oh, Jesus Christ, the audio. This ain't happening. <laughs> All X-Men have been eliminated. <laughs> Wait, I, I I don't quite get it. Can I get a replay of that? What happened here? <laughs> oh, it fucking broke. Wait. Oh, I started recording way too late. Wow, they really... Damn, I have to start all over? Can someone just tell me what the danger room is? It's kind of all I want to know. Leave a review. <laughs> Honestly, if that's what that was. <laughs> if that's what that was, you got to leave a review of the game. <laughs> All costumes unlock. Up, up, right, left, down, down. Or right. Extreme gear unlocked. Give me more cheat codes. Let's go. I forgot. These, these games probably all have cheat codes. It's that era of gaming. That's the only one? Oh, no. The danger room is a holographic simulator that allows the X-Men to hone their battle skills. Oh, it's probably like a training mode. Well, I don't know if we get to see the danger room. Awesome credits. Okay, I'm gonna switch out the game. X-Men Legends is, is okay. I think that's the the most entertaining one we've played tonight. Okay, I'm gonna I'm not gonna play the double oh seven. Maybe I'll play Nightfire. I have so many I have so many fucking 007 games I just found another one so I have so there's the gold golden eye rogue agent um and then I have Nightfire. make that bigger You can see the Blink-182 MIDI in the reflection of the game. <laughs> uh, so, I have 007 Nightfire. <laughs> this is how... Oh, sh This is how... Uh, <laughs> wait, hold on a second. So I'm just gonna show you games and there's nothing, you know what, there, there's nothing, there's nothing else but to look at these games, alright? Just, we're just looking at, at these video games. We're just looking at these video games. 
There's, there's nothing. So this is one of my favorite games, 007 Nightfire. And I I love, I love, I love 007 Nightfire. It's one of my favorite games. It's awesome. And I love it. So we just keep looking at this screen. You know, 007. Double seven. Double seven is my favorite video game. Pretty much of all time, so like you know, even if you if you turn it like this, you really get a great a great glimpse at the great art. The great art of this game. And, um... The art in this game is just quite spectacular. So... That's... That's 007 Nightfire. So, as I said... I hope you enjoyed that. I found I have agent under fire at some point someone went to the thrift store and just dropped off all of their 007 Xbox original Xbox games I have agent under fire rogue agent was kind of bust it was really hard to play that's not something I'll ever play again when the world needs a hero James Bond Answers the call. Can't see it. But enough of James Bond. I want to play Spider Man 2. But that's what I'm going to end this on. Get a little bit of Spider Man 2 in my life. It's official. It's official movie merchandise. When we get that, I need to bring up. BLC. There you go. Wow, you could just see everything now. It says here official movie merchandise right there. It's official. It was three dollars. Spider Man. What a bargain, I agree. And it has not one, but two manuals with different things on the back. I wonder why. Oh, hey, this is X-Men Legends. We just put, look, look, before, after. <laughs> So there's two see yeah shout out to game zone rent x-men legends for 87 cents a day i think that it's one in english and one in french right yeah that's the law here is you have to have a manual in english and in french so if you could see here where's the lens crochet droit crochet gauche coup de point while au pied ou de pied <laughs> the way the way that they that they write the 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 co the combos here just says touch Touch X, touch X, touch X, touch X, touch A, touch X, touch Y, touch X, touch X, touch X. <laughs> Wait. 
I didn't know that gauges in French was jogues. What? <laughs> I'm, I might not be pronouncing it right. But <laughs> jo jogues. Jogues. I just called it a, jo a jogs. 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 La jog de sauté. Oh shit. Pizza. The pizza icon. Oh, this is made by Treyarch. What? What's the distillers? Why is there an ad for the distillers in the Spider-Man 2 French booklet? And it's like in the it's in the credits. Like it's just credits and then the distillers and then more credits. Why is they made the game? <laughs> oh, did anyone write shit in these in the game in the game manuals? Did anyone do that? I'm gonna do it right now. What do I write? Chances are I'm gonna forget that I wrote something in here and I'm gonna bring it back to the thrift store because that's what I do usually. Like, I'm going to bring a lot of these back to the thrift store after I've played them, but... I'm not going to write the F word. Fake cheat codes. That's a great idea. Who said that? Bag the bag is not a bag. Cheats. Peter super jump. Spider Man Pizza Head X X A B Dark. I go to sleep now, good night. I think you're the three months. I hope you're. I hope you have nightmares. <laughs> what are other uh, cheat codes we should put? <laughs> people reacting. People reacting to what I said as if I have some sort of power over whether or not someone will have a nightmare. Don't say that. Now that you said that, he's gonna have that person's gonna have nightmares. What the fuck? How could you do such a thing? <laughs> now, Proverse underscore is gonna have terrible nightmares about the notes section of a game manual. So, I wrote down I wrote down a cheat. Spider Man Pizza Head X X A B Start. Um. Fall. <laughs> he just skipped out a sub. Fall asleep. Instantly. A. B. A. B. A. B. A. B. A. B. A, B. 
Um, Peter Parker. Peter Parker. Lou Vega, Lou Vega Vician. Peter Parker. Peter Parker pants fall down. And the code is just complete the game. Uh Daily Bugle Uncensored <laughs> B X Y Start A few more notes here. Turn Xbox into PlayStation Five. Start. A, B, Y, X, A, left trigger, right trigger, A. So we've got pages full of cheat codes. I want to shout out one more time the distillers they made this game awesome Now time to play the game that the distillers made. Do a cool S. We're kind of out of space. I get to this point and I always start to forget what I'm supposed to do. I think I fucked it up. I, I thought there's like a penis tip. I don't know why I did that, but I didn't do that on purpose. Just forget. Let's just make it like on both ends. It's like a, it's like a special, like a snake or something. I'm telling you, being able to do it with my hands, I'm actually, it looks better than, I mean, the only other times I've, I've done the cool S is in VR and like, uh, did I fuck it up? No, I didn't. Someone post it again. Please.
No. The cool ass. Not whatever the fuck that is. The that chicken. I want to see that chicken. It's kiwi. Uh, it doesn't look like. I don't know if y'all have eaten kiwis, but that's not what it looks like. I did it. That one. Pretty good, right? Okay. I was about to burp on it. And that burp went back in. It's gonna become something else. And you toss a little you in the middle there. What does that mean? On the coolest. A you? Oh. <laughs> Fine. Are you happy? Where's the lens for this thing? Ruined the immersion of being from, from the early 2000s. People were saying sus back then. All right, now for the English manual. I'm kidding. Hey, don't fucking chop Lanky's head off. Don't do that. Why would you do that? What, the f what did Lanky do to you? Okay, I'm putting that back in there and I'm 100% gonna forget that that's in there. Maybe I'll ship, maybe I'll, I'll put, maybe I'll ship this one with one of the Patreon tapes in April. I don't know. I think it might be funnier to just put this, put this, uh, drop this off at a thrift store. I could do the cool SS on a different... I fucking hate that I just said that. I'm gonna play Spider Man. Oh, I like this. I like this. Oh, you like it? Yeah, yeah. Yo, who's so yeah. Kids? Yeah. Hey. yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the dono. Let me see what Spider Man 2 is all about. Ooh, I like this. Yeah, yeah. Oops. Can I play Among Us? Absolutely not. Start to be press start to begin. Which one is better? People are saying that Spider-Man 2 has like the best swinging in like any of the Spider-Man games. Do I put, pick swinging or normal? Easy or normal? Hmm. 
normal. This is the one with the pizza music. Oh, name entry cheat. I can't go back and change my name. Why do you keep cutting these these emotes in half? What's wrong with you? What have they done to you? Why are you doing that? They don't cut they look cut in half for me. Formal narwhal. Would love to see the gift subs continued. Thank you. Toby McGuire's in this game. I love that because I'm running this through like 10 different things. The, the, everything, every color is like bleeding. All the reds and oranges are bleeding like crazy. This is my story. It's the usual thing. Boy meets girl. Boy loses girl. Boy meets another girl. Well, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Don't think my life is all flowers and romance, though. I wish. More and more, my life is spent out here fighting some of the worst the city has to offer. Sometimes it's just a mugger. Sometimes it's a bigger problem. This is the city I protect. New York City. It's my home. My playground. My responsibility. Ah, and this <laughs> is Mary Jane. The girl next door. The Great girl I love. Opening. But love is a tricky thing when you live part of your life behind a mask. Fate handed me amazing powers, and I made a promise to use those powers to help people. With great power comes great responsibility. No Uncle matter ben. how much I might wish things were different, there's only one Spider-Man. Whoa, real hard cut to this. Oh my goodness, the red of the fucking health bar is is ag uh, extremely aggressive it's like vibrating well sequel time already huh welcome back i guess i'm sure you miss me more than i miss you anyway things have changed around here since last time so they dragged me back at great expense to explain what's up first things first you're not much of a wall crawler if you can't you know stick to walls so here's what you do you walk or run into a wall and hold the grab button voila you stick to the wall. It works when you're swinging and jumping, too. Moving right along. Thank you, let's Toby Maguire. Jumping. Hold down the jump button and you'll charge your jump. This yellow bar shows how strong your jump will be when you let go of the button. You got it? You sure? You don't actually jump until you've let go of the jump button. Oh my goodness, that the camera. Okay. Now go jump in a lake. Give me vertigo for like half a second. If you tap the jump button, you'll just do a little hop. A little, a little hop. That's because you didn't charge Where'd my water jump. go? Am I going too fast for you? Let's get this show on the road. See that little doohickey? That's your destination marker, and it tells you how to get where you need to go. Clever, huh? When it's in the middle of the screen... You know you're heading towards your goal. Easy, right? I'm here. All right, stop there for a second and look at your map. See it there? That red thing in the center is you, and the blue dot is your destination marker. The line that connects each dot to the map represents how high off the ground that particular thing is. Oh, that, oh, makes that sense, 3D right? map is actually kind of uh, wild. Yeah, sure it does. Everything's broken into chapters, and every chapter opens with one of these nifty little slow-mo things. Those words zipping not necessary. The chapter title are the items explain on your this. List. So this is not necessary. Busy. Okay. So the next thing I want you to do is jump off the building. I mean it. Just jump. Hey, I wouldn't tell you to do something dangerous and life-threatening, would I? Come on. Come on. You always do what people tell you. You know, there's a word for that. Loser. 
So what now? Okay, I like that line. <laughs> Just a little friendly advice. You're gonna want to shoot out. Because that's not the the word yourself. that came to mind Move for me. The left stick in the you do you, you do go, do you always do what other people slingers. say? You're a loser. Oh, way, it'll only work if there's something swingable in range, okay? The cars are normal speed, I think. Uh, any time now, that pavement's not getting any softer. Pull the swing trigger. Duh. Ouch. I would work on that landing. Remember, okay. it isn't falling that hurts you. I it's thought it would be like the M&M &M video. Yeah. Huh. I guess you're smarter than you look. Good for you. So, let me tell you a little about swinging. Every time you press the swing button, you'll shoot a new web line. There's all kinds of fancy stuff you can do, but let's take baby steps, shall we? Now that you're out and about, why don't you swing around for a while? You know, do your thing. I'll check up on this you. This must later. have been like Just revolutionary. Go ahead. When it Go came ahead. out. Oh, but well, you can't swing unless you're near Jesus. You can't swing unless you're near Jesus. I played I played the Spider-Man PS4 game, so to me this is like normal, but This is actually you get like some nice momentum going. Okay, I'm back. For the next lesson, let's talk about hey, what's going on down there? What? Stop, thief! Well, that's convenient. The arcade just got held up and the robbers are driving away. What are you going to do about it? Looks like playtime is over. Put all the stuff you've learned together and get into action. Swing after the car. Use the destination marker and your map if you lose them. Oh, and try not to embarrass yourself, okay? Don't shit yourself. Where am I going? Oh shit, they're getting away. Oh, this is a bit hard to swing sometimes. Looks like the robbers are escaping on foot. Go teach them about justice. You know, by beating the snot out of them. I mean, this isn't a civics class. What do you expect? Oops. Spider Man just showed up! Why is there no music right now? I feel like there should be music. Oops. Heads up! It's kind of weird, silent like this. See something cool. Sprint after that last robber by holding the sprint trigger while you run, then hold attack when you get up. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Nice going. Now get back to the arcade owner. You know, you should check out some of the games he's got too. Access. He has access. When the music shows up, it hits. What does that mean? I need web swinging music. Hey, I'm right. Thanks, Spider Man. Oops. Listen, if you ever want to play some games, come on by. It's on the house. Bring up your zoom map for a second, would you? 
How do I do that? It's back. Great. This I map feel is 50. Really I had to look at the I controller. Destination markers and all it's such a foreign design locations. now. Check it out when you get lost. But you'll never get lost. I know you. A destination marker for the first Spidey store just appeared. Go buy the speed upgrade, then we'll move on. And if you won't, then I'm done. The world's first Spider-Man store. Will be time. The city's been quiet lately. Maybe my luck's finally changing. This game looks sick. The, gra the, the graphics look so cool. When will games look like this? When do you think games will look like this? Isn't it beautiful, Rosie? Well, one day this games are going to look like this. Unlimited energy. The power of a sun harnessed for the good of all mankind. Don't forget the good of Otto. Eat Yo, look at that sandwich. The world will still be here in half an hour. Original Xbox cutscene sandwich. That sandwich looks good, though. I'm kind of hungry. What just happened? You got a sandwich. Why was there a cutscene about him getting a sandwich? Uh, before we go any further, I think it might be a good idea to save your progress. If you could call it that. Go to the pizza parlor. Just go to the Let's go. Menu and bring up the save load screen. Easy, right? Well, then do it. I'm glad they didn't just use use clips from the movie. I'm glad that they like recreated essentially the the movie oh, no. in the game. Dr. Connor's class. I got so caught up in what I was doing, I forgot all about it. Hell yeah. It's gonna kill me. The classic line. Dr. Connor's class. Oh no. Dr. Connor's class. Wasn't I going to the pizza parlor? A classic. It's a classic. It's kind of hard. Believe I'm running so late. Still, I should be able to make it as long as. Ah, right on cue. I was almost there too. Sorry, Doctor Connor. And what happens? I'm, not, I'm having a hard time swinging. Oh, the audio is like bugging out. I don't hear fight sounds anymore. And the music's Lucky really you, loud. My the music's really loud right now. And I don't hear any. Careful, you put oh. someone's eye out. What are the settings in this game? Oh, there they are. Turn the music down a little bit. Product not yet rated. <laughs> <laughs> what 
Why do they just let you do that at any point in the game? Why? What? Product not yet rated. Looking good. Audible. <laughs> Audible. Audible. Long time Products iPad not Pro. Yet Audible. Thank you, Squiggly. <laughs> There's some fucked up shit with the audio right now. <laughs> oh, I, th I think it's because my Xbox is set in surround sound. I think that's probably why. Boy, you just aren't landing a punch on this guy. He keeps blocking you. You better try to attack him, or I'm gonna fall asleep. I turned the music down. I didn't turn it off, but it's gone now. Hi, my name's Spider-Man, and I'll be your rescuer today. Thank you so much for saving me. The briefcase, you got it back. Thank goodness. Why did they want this so badly? I'm sorry. I can't really talk about it. All right. Well, at least try to be more careful from now on. Don't worry. Maybe I can still make it before class ends. <laughs> Imagine Spider-Man saves you and then a big red glowing orb falls from the sky onto his head and it goes Oh dear god What? Why did he come back towards me? I don't know what just happened there. <laughs> Look at all these taxis. Peter Parker time. Dr. Connors. Peter. I'm sorry for missing class. I was on my way, but... Peter, I don't want to hear excuses. You have a keen scientific mind, but your grades are slipping. You miss class half the time, and when you do show up, you're asleep in your seat. Yes, Dr. Connors. I understand. Have you started your paper on Dr. Octavius yet? He's a good friend of mine, so you'd better know what you're talking about. Uh, well, I've been thinking about it. <sighs> thinking isn't your problem. But that paper isn't going to write itself, Peter. And if you don't get your act together, you are in serious danger of failing this class. I know, Dr. Connors. I'll pull things together. I promise. I hope so. I'll see you in class. OD? Toadie McGuire? <laughs> Shouts out to Toady. I think this might be a good time for you to check your to-do list. It'll show you what you still need to do in the current chapter. I have to go to the pizza parlor. The white dot on your map here and the white destination marker are both pointing you to the pizza parlor. You'll need to get over there at some point, but there's no rush. Huh. The, ab the absolute pervasive, like, lack of music is kind of, like, unsettling. Like, it really... feels weird.
Cody McGuire. Play Vindicated by Dashboard Confessionals. <laughs> that was a good swing. That was a, a, a that swing had breadth. Okay, next person who tries to cut me off, get my fist up his tailpipe. Oh yeah, what's the matter? Let me tell you about these upstanding. Spidey, look, that person is going to fall. Uh oh, I'd better hurry. Oh god, the music. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna make it in time. I'm having a hard time getting around. Uh, <laughs> uh oh. They didn't, they gave me no fucking time. I got a secret though. Uh oh. Man, not only did the mission fail, but uh, I also still late. Promised Harry and MJ that I would meet them this evening. I want to go to the pizza parlor, though. I was headed towards the damn pizza parlor. Save this man, he's about to fall from the building, sure. Uh, oh, I should go meet MJ. See, <laughs> looks nice at night. Don't know what's on that building, but it's the red is really bleeding out. Ooh, we're in the garment district. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna go out? Let's go out. Let's hit the town. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's really frustrating that I can't run up buildings like you can in the PS4 Spider-Man. Party at the Delicatessen! Peter, you made it! Happy birthday! Hey, buddy! MJ and I had a bet going on whether you would actually show up. Thanks, Harry. Hey, MJ. I'm almost afraid to ask, but who won the bet? I did, of course. Okay, Harry, pay up. All right, all right. Are you sleeping all right, Pete? You look beat. Just some late nights. I'm Spider-Man. Still palling around with that murdering bug? Harry, no, I'm Spider-Man. I know you think Spider-Man killed your dad. He did kill my dad. <laughs> Someday I'll get him for it, too. You tell him that next time you see him. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm Spider-Man. Well, so you just told me. Hey, congratulations on those billboards, MJ. Oh, thanks. Um, It's so unexpected. Everything's happening at once. The billboards, the play, which you have to come see, by the way. I'll get you a ticket for your birthday. Can you swing by later and pick it up? Huh? Oh, <laughs> swing by, huh? yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I, I promise <gasps> I'll go. Oh, fuck. Swing. So, oh, uh, they know I'm Spider-Man. Fuck, I'll just say it. I'm Spider-Man. I'm heading up special projects now. We've been providing funding and tritium for one of your heroes, Dr. Octavius. You want to meet him? Do I? That would be great, Harry. I'll set everything up then. Hey, come on, let's eat. Why do you go like this? Let's eat. Delicatessen, hell yeah. Man, that cake was good. I'm stuffed. Time to go to the burn pizza parlor. I won't fit in my costume anymore. I can't even remember the last time I saw Harry or Mary Jane. Hey, baby.
MJ's been busy with acting. Come Mary's on, got Oscorp. Oh, who am I kidding? I haven't seen them because I can't make time. Come on! Some of us got places to be. Harry and MJ really tried to be good friends. And I keep brushing them off. <laughs> he sounds so sad. <laughs> he sounds so sad. I wish I could tell Harry and MJ the truth, but how could I? <laughs> I keep brushing him Harry's off. Dad was the Green Goblin. How could I no, tell no, him that? Why does he? Why does he sound like Donkey? It's starting to sound like Donkey. Please stop. I'm gonna get to the fucking pizza parlor. I don't care about anything else right now. Why is it on the other end of the city? Who puts a pizza parlor this far away? Why? The, oh, oh yeah, the classic Oceanside pizza parlor. Let's go. This is a good time to talk a little about hero points. You already know. This should be a safe spot to change. <laughs> I have many pizzas that need delivering, and you are late, like always. You are the only delivery boy here right now, too, so you must deliver everything. Don't be late. I won't let you down, Mr. Aziz. I'll start there. Yes, let's go. did all right this time. Maybe I'm not wrong to keep you on, eh? Keep up the good work and you will have a bright future here. Thanks, Mr. Aziz. Is that it? Parker, the delivery deadline is coming and you are only just now arriving? Get these pizzas to the customers right now. Don't worry, Mr. Go. Aziz. Mission two. These pizzas are in good hands. I'll start there.
gotta go faster. Stop the thieves! Surprise! Happy to see me? I'd better get the delivery bag back to Mr. Aziz. He's gonna be upset. <laughs> Need to return the delivery bag at least. Gonna be upset. Italiano. Don't be mean to me. I need you to get back here as soon as you finish the deliveries, Parker. The orders don't stop coming just because you are out on the delivery. You have to let me try again, Mr. Aziz. I can't pay my rent without this job. I'll do better next time. I know it. Need help. Hey, I played these first few missions at least forty times as a kid because I never had a save card. The colors of Italy. And I've got my tomato sauce to help me. I've got my classico. Okay. I think I need I, I need you to see how hard I'm trying. Hold on a sec. Sauce, nope.
Hey. The aroma classico. The classic aroma. a second. I have many pizzas that need delivering, and you are late, like always. You are the only delivery boy here right now, too, so you must deliver everything. Don't be late. I won't let you down, Mr. Aziz. Sure, sure. I've heard this before. Now get going. That looks like a good place to make my first delivery. Thank <laughs> you. 
are ready. Well, maybe I can sneak the bag back into the shop without Mr. Z spotting me. I'd better get the delivery bag back to Mr. Aziz. He's gonna be upset. Need to return the delivery bag, at least. Need to return the delivery bag, at least. Maybe I can sneak the bag back into the shop without Mr. Z spotting me. Well, maybe I can sneak the bag back into the shop Remember, without Mr. Pizza Z doesn't like spotting me. Docile up three? It's <laughs> Great. Nothing better than a soaking wet costume. Ugh. Oh no. When I fell in the water, my delivery bag got washed away. <laughs> around. I better change while I have a chance. Parker! The delivery deadline is coming and you are only just now arriving? Get these pizzas to the customers right now! You got it, Mr. Aziz. I'll deliver those pizzas before you know it. Think I should make my first delivery over there. Spidey! You demand! No, you demand! The pizza is going to be destroyed. Hurry. And on time. 
I'm better not behind at all. Bag now that I'm finished with my delivery run. did all right this time. Maybe I'm not wrong to keep you on, eh? Keep up the good work and you will have a bright future here. Thanks, Mr. Aziz. Put the camera back. the balloon. My birthday dinner, I promised MJ I would meet her this evening. No! I gotta hurry. I just want to do more pizza. Damn, Ogi, you're, you're Spider-Man 2 Pro. All the tips. Need cool lighting.
I love you late night chill. It's so important to me. Time to play. Sorry, I'm running a little late, MJ. <laughs> I've gotten used to it. It was great seeing you and Harry again the other night. Yeah. Anyway, I brought you the ticket for my play. Peter, I think you should know. I'm seeing someone now. A guy. Oh. Really? Huh. Really? Is that all you have to say? Oh my gosh. Uh, I... I have to go. Of course you do. I'm really sorry, MJ. I really want to talk more. I'll call you. Yeah. I can't believe I ran off like that. I must be out of my mind. Ooh. 
figure. Wait, what says Ebola? I don't see Ebola. Try not to run into my fist with your face. Oh, the painting. Time to wrap this party up. Spider-Man I have to take the stairs. I'm a Spider-Man and I have to take I'm sorry, you came in. Does that count? This may sting a little. This may not be art, but I like it. <laughs> Who? <laughs> you got nice moves for a dork in tights. Are these yours? <laughs> Please. Wait! <laughs> music cut. Oh no, this is gonna be hard, isn't it? Be a better way to climb. Hey, come on! I just want to talk. No means no, pal. Yeah, because I have so hard Sorry, time swing. Not my style. You have style. <laughs> oh no! Don't make me restart this. Come on! I just want to talk! Can't hear, can't hear what you're saying, lady. Hey, where'd you go? You can't even imagine. Because Bob, there's like barely any music. You 
you always chase girls who brush you off? No, only the naughty ones. I have standards, after all. Standard is the word. And here I was expecting... amazing. Hey! Yep, got away with the ladies, Spidey. Mr. Smooth. Nothing about what just happened felt normal. You know, this chapter opening reminds me of something. The Spidey store gets new items every time a new chapter starts. Aha! Next time you have a chance, Aha. visit the store and check out what they've got. Aha! That's the pizza parlor that's bringing me to. Go do that. I want to get pizza. Oh, where the hell is Pete? I think there may be a problem. That just means that I get to have more cereal.
I think it's broken. What do we do? It's too late to start another game. I'm about to write the stroke. Oh, shit, it's been three hours. Fuck. Um, it's too late to start another game. What do we do? Take the disc out, blow on it, put it back in. Sure thing. just hang out we could just hang out music want to see my albums so this is legitimate this is my childhood xbox so this is all the music these are all the cds that i ripped when i was a kid we got breaking benjamin in there got billy talent got good charlotte Obviously can't listen to any of these, but... We could just hang out in the music Xbox void. Thank you, Riley Star. I know it's soundtrack 1, 2, and 3, I know. I think those are just, that's what the default naming convention when you rip a CD. Listen to the alien voice. I don't want, that's scary. I can't believe how clear it is. As a kid, I was always, it sounded very faint. out I could see it on this screen though oh hold on a second uh, it is <laughs> Let's listen to <laughs> I'm surprised that the, the titles for the tracks are in there. Did the Xbox like recognize that? We could listen to very quiet. Very quiet Billy Talent. Oh god. Can anyone, can, you, can anyone hear that? Look at the cool visualizer. Sick. I wonder what this is. Hold on. Ha <laughs> wait, what? What the 
Fuck. WWF forcible entry entry WWS WWF forcible entry so that soundtrack one is just nine inch nails I probably can't play a lot of it though that's all you get Audio CD. All right, it's two AM. It's two AM. I'm going for over three hours. I'm going to wrap up. This was supposed to be a short stream. it was three hours is a pretty decent length thank you for tuning in for this late night impromptu and barely any announcement stream um thursday vhs viewings 7 p.m eastern be there for that and then probably a stream on saturday maybe we'll just do like a media share hangout on saturday i'm working on stuff in between the streams so i don't have uh, it's probably going to be a little while before like, the next big stream. It might happen in March, like mid-March, towards the end of March. Um, but until then, we're just chilling. I want to do more of these late night chills, just like OG Xbox stuff, PS2 stuff. I have my Wii U. I have my Wii U now. So you check out some Wii U stuff. The possibilities the possibilities are endless but thank you for pulling up pikmin 3 stream i have pikmin 3 on uh, on switch and on wii u um but yeah that's the end of the stream thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you want to i've been really act i've been pretty active in the discord in the past like week so if you want to uh, hop into the Discord, if you're over 16, there's some cool chats where you can talk about old stuff like this. Share share pictures of your 007 Xbox copy with a, with a holographic cover. There's a channel just for that. It's called Retro Things. So pull up. There's a wrestling channel. Yeah, the, the wrestling channel is like one of the most active channels in the Discord. There's always people hanging out and talking in there, which is great. I'm glad. I pop in there from time to time. If there's like a big pay-per-view, I'll talk. Talk a little bit in there. I was hanging out in there for the Royal Rumble. So there's a, there's a bunch of cool channels with a bunch of cool people. So... Hop in there, show off your old stuff. Show off your new stuff if you want. And just go hang out. Um, yeah, two days, Thursday, VHS viewings. I'll see you then. In the meantime, have a good week. Peace out.
wait was my mic muted the whole time um uh streamlabs is not rolling the credits properly um apparently stream uh, streamlabs says that my stream never started so i feel how you want to feel about that but apparently the stream never started so do with that information what you will Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll shout out a bunch of the subes. Oh, there were a... All right, I'll go through them slowly. Bunny Saryu, 13 months. Brumo, 21 months. Arark, 21 months. Thus Housewives of Among Us, 10 months. Bitsbug, 17 months. Smooth Willis, 20 months. Improbable Carney, 21 months. Rebel Yell, 16 months. Jill Jig, gifted a sub. Nibli, gifted out two subs. Abacus, 33, 7 months. Huge Candy Squids, 18 months. Duskarot, 20 months. Big Sun Bear, 8 months. Snape Snoop Give to the sub Earth Crisis Actor Cheered 300 Lunchables Hearts Schlup With 2 months Pippi Caddy With 19 months Glitter Swords With 20 months Just a Toe Great Name 6 months Diagonal Runabout 11 months Bernie Cinders 19 months Chis Woman 9 months Holly Godnell 6 months First VHS tape, 17 months. Deep Fried Gundam, gifted out 10 big subs. Thank you. Combos Killer, 19 months. Smealy, 16 months. Yuri Anu, 17 months. Lunar Soul, 097. 200 Lunchables Hearts. Sleepy Halls, with 11 months. Elk Turtle, gifted out a sub. VHS Jess. 16 months. Gaios with the one month tier one. Spaced with 14 months. No Love Deep Web with 18 months. Lucar Leho with 10 months. Prover said three months and gifted a sub. Brackens with five months. Toby McGuire became a sub. Yeti Club followed me right after that. Squiggly, 13 months. Italiano became a sub. Narwix, with 16 months. Neon Rainbows, with 17 months. Unpocalyptic, with 19 months. Cherry Flavo, with 2 months. Arteix, with 2 months. And Riley Star, with 6 months. That's the, that's the list of subs and bits. And thank you to people that donated, got the stream, and watched. I will see y'all in two days on Thursday for VHS viewings. Have a good night. Have a good week. Baba. Her sister, Melody, who happened where the 1974 movie and the initial slaughter took place in the post credit sequence of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Even if society regards Leatherface as a monster, the act of returning to the roots implies that the individual in question wishes to sleep comfortably under a roof where no one disturbs his everlasting slumber. The monster is unlikely to return unless driven by an external source to take up his chainsaw and unleash his vengeance on them because they invited their own death by trespassing into the lion's den. Soup slam. Hey, this is Garrett, and this is the longest yard. Ah. Oh, turn it off. Ah. Creepy. But even if he does, I hope he receives the closure he deserves. Use your mouse.
whether by death or some other way. Fudge. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to this channel, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss out latest video of Media Breakdown. Dialogue Cows 2 is a magnetic shield. This collects, controls, and directs the power of magnetism from the Earth, which can be employed as a defensive force field against attack, or be used as a formidable offensive tool.